what we're going to be doing is making a time lapse accessory for um, for your GoPro or for your iPhone or basically like a smaller camera. Um, what it's going to allow it to do is pan during a time lapse, and you're going to be able to mount this on top of a uh, on top of a tripod, so you can get nice, smooth, crisp images inserted here. I'll kind of show a little uh, little clip of what I'm talking about. But what it's going to do is get something like that. Basically, what you want to start out with, you can buy these on Amazon.com uh, or if you're close to an IKEA, this is from IKEA. So this is just an egg timer. So I'm taking this egg timer and what I'm going to be doing is opening it up and showing you how to modify it. So first off, let's start out with what you need. Necessarily everything that you're going to need, um, you may have different things that you may want to use um, and feel free. You know, you can do this your own way. You don't have to do it this way. Um, this is the way I did it earlier and it worked out good for me. But like I said, if you have a different uh, different way, try it out. You may want to try something a little bit different. Um, some people use them uh, two, two ways so you can get a pan and a tilt, which looks really cool and smooth. So that's another thing. I may end up doing that with these, but uh, anyways, let's just start out with what we got. So it's all the tools that I use. So I use the drill, number seven bit, okay? Um, I use some lineman pliers just because I find these that they come in handy all the time. I use those lineman pliers just for everything, so I use those to grip onto some stuff. Uh, needle nose pliers, these are some nice skinny, nice uh, needle nose pliers. I used a, a punch, so a punch just to mark my hole of where I was going to drill it. Um, a file to file down some of this plastic once you're done with using all that plastic. We just used a quick file. A screwdriver, this is just a small screwdriver because you're gonna need to get into this and open it up. So right underneath here, you're gonna need a small Phillips screwdriver. Um, and then the last item, and this might not necessarily be necessary, but I liked it, um, blowtorch, right? Map gas torch, always looks cool. Um, fire's fun, you know? Can't even see it right now because it's so hot. But anyways, those are all the things that I use for this. So now let's just dive into it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open up this timer. Oh yeah, I also used a Benchmade knife to open this up. So we'll cut into this. Just kind of open it up real fast and I'll show you what we have. So first off, it comes with like some instructions. You don't want those. You're not gonna need them. I think you can figure out how to use an egg timer. Um, if you can't, you shouldn't be watching this video because you're not going to be able to do this, but I'm assuming everybody knows how to use one of these things. You take it, you twist it, it goes, and it goes ding, 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 ding when it's done. So that's all there is to it. So hopefully you guys got that part. All right. So first thing you want to look at is you can yank this apart. So boom, it comes apart. If you look inside there, you'll see this little spot. Uh, that goes right into this green gear right here. You guys see the green gear there? See how it's kind of keyed? So that is what keeps this piece rotating on there. Now, what you first want to do, I'd probably just start out with this, um, is separate this whole black area. You're going to want to separate that from this metal area. Now, I accomplished that using my knife, which probably wasn't the safest idea, but I basically took that, stabbed it in there. You don't want to stab yourself in the hand. Be careful of that. You don't want to do that. But uh, if you put it on a table, and then I just kind of went around, boom, 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 like this, all the way around the sides until I broke up that plastic. Now, after I did that, I take these pliers, reach in there, and I was able to separate these pieces. Um, right down in here, this has a, just basically like a piece of glue. So, you know what? Because it's glue, I'm gonna try this a different way this time. This is metal, so this obviously heats up pretty quick, and I have that blowtorch, so uh, let's just let's just heat it up. Let's heat it up. These flames are fun. I'm gonna go put some gloves on though, so I don't melt my hands off. Okay, so for this, I just grabbed uh, some TIG welding gloves real quick. So if you guys just have some sort of TIG welding gloves, or I mean just any sort of gloves, this will work good because now you're not gonna burn the crap out of your hand. So let's try this out. So first what I'm going to do is just kind of cut around the edge. Um, like I said before, I just, I just basically um, took this, you know, and I just kind of worked around the edges of this piece. 
Now this is obviously a little bit dangerous, but uh, you know, you get the feeling. You just do that all the way through. Um, so let's try this out. So I'm gonna heat this up and we'll see if we can't uh, separate the glue in here, all right? Let's try this out. All right. Okay, so that is pretty hot now. It's gonna be pretty dang hot. Let's see if I can't. I can smell the glue, so that's good. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Oh yeah. Whoa, that was like super dangerous right there. I didn't like that. That was not cool at all. Don't make your map gas torch do a backflip. I would uh, not recommend doing that. So uh, I'm gonna keep going through this real quick. See, I'm taking my pliers. I'm just kind of shoving them around the whole thing. And what you'll see when I'm doing this, so I'm just basically separating the plastic um, and what that's gonna allow me to do is hopefully pull this inside piece out like I did before. So, yeah, it's uh, it's coming up. This part is, I mean, it's not super easy. So, I mean, just work on it. Work on it pretty good as much as you can, but try not to, also try not to break the plastic, obviously. It's almost out of there. All right, cool, separated. Now you can see how the glue heated up when I did that, I actually heated up the glue. And I think that helped out quite a bit because you can see like that's pretty much melted glue right now. So now we have these two pieces apart. Cool. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to take the other pieces apart. So now we can go ahead and take our gloves off. That way we can get a good feel for this. Um, around the bottom here of this egg timer, what you're gonna notice is that there is a, um, rubberized piece here. Now we're looking for screws. There's actually three screws. You should be able to feel them if you press hard with your fingers. So I can actually feel one right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my screwdriver and well, I'm just gonna back that screw out. Hey, look at that, look at that. Screw right there, see, right on the money. So take that out, place that aside because you're gonna need that later and find the next screw which will probably be right around here. Boom. All right, there is the next screw. I'm taking that one out there. And third screw should be right around here. Feel that out. I think it's, where is it, where is it? Right there, boom. Okay, so if you feel it out like that, then you are able to kind of just leave the foam intact. So that's kind of nice. Now, what you're able to do after you take out those three screws, you guys see those three screws? It's not focusing. Okay, all right. See those three screws right there? Now you can just, boom, take that apart. Now you see that you have two separate pieces. You have the egg timer piece here, and now we basically have it all separated up. We have our three screws. Now we can get down to the fun stuff where we use a couple more of these tools. So let's do that. Okay, so next, what I guess I'll do, this is not hot anymore because this dissipates heat very quickly. I don't know, what should I do? I guess I'll do the bottom because this has the most smoke and fun and fire and all that stuff. So let's zoom on down into there. Um, what this has on it, if you guys see, it's just like a little hole here. So. Some of the things that you are actually gonna need, I think I forgot to uh, I forgot to mention this at the beginning. So sorry about that, guys. What you're gonna need for this um, is a square nut. This is a quarter inch by 20 thread. And what that's gonna be used for is to put it on the base of the tripod. So we're gonna use that. Um, also, what you're gonna need is a quarter 20, I used three quarter inch. If you can find something smaller, it might be good. I just use a little um, Phillips bolt, okay? A little Phillips. And then I used 
a nut as well. I actually used a washer too, so you might want to get a, a quarter inch washer also. But uh, yeah, this is uh, basically what I use here. So we'll take that, and then I had a longer, a longer piece, and I'll show you why I had a longer piece. Okay, so I also had a longer quarter 20 uh, bolt, so you guys see that? Look at that. Come on. Come on, camera. Okay, I had a longer quarter inch 20 bolt as well, so uh, what I did with that is I basically take that, thread it in, um, we're threading it in, and then I leave it a little bit long at the end. Now, when I left it long at the end, there's a reason for that. The reason for that is that we are going to be heating this bolt up and smashing it right into here. Now, when we do that, it's just going to melt. Boom. It's just going to melt that square bolt right in. So let's do this. Um, again, let's put our gloves on. I am on a white little piece of the table. Um, also, this is going to make a lot of smoke. So don't breathe this crap. You're going to want to be in an open area like garage with a door open or something like that. But now we're going to heat this thing up. So let's go for it. Okay, also guys, um, instead of holding it with your hand, that was what I had the line and pliers for. Uh, I was using those as a holder. So let's keep heating that up. Okay, so that should be pretty hot right now, I would imagine. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and insert this bolt right in here. We're watching it melt. You guys seen it melt? Okay, this isn't as hot as uh, when I did it last time, so. See that? Okay, so let's, oh, actually, this is working pretty good. This is actually working a lot better than it did last time because I used too much heat. So, as you can see now, boom, we are right in the hole. We are right, right where we want to be. So, I think I can just leave that in there, all right? Now, obviously, it's going to stay pretty hot for a while. But what we'll do is just kind of make sure that this thing is straight up. Um, and then what we can do is use the file to sand off the edges right around it. We'll just kind of file this excess, uh, this kind of excess plastic that's built up. You guys see that? Ah. This excess plastic, we'll just kind of file that down. So yeah, so that is that part of it. So we're just gonna go to the next part. All right, take this. We can take our gloves off now because we want more finger just dexterity. So um, I don't know what I did with my hammer. So again, lineman pliers, these work great as hammers. If you're an electrician, you would know uh, most electricians use these probably more than they use a hammer just because it's on their tool bag and it sucks to carry a hammer around everywhere. So put that right in the middle where you know you're gonna want the hole. Give it a bang, check it out, make sure it looks good. Use that number seven um, drill bit and we will drill a hole. All right. Okay, so that is right there in the middle. Now, while we're at it, since we got the drill bit out, we got the punch out, let's go ahead and punch and drill a hole into the top piece. So that looks good right there. Punch it in, drill it out. Also guys, these shavings can be pretty hot, so you know, be aware of that. Um, you might burn yourself. Try not to burn yourself, obviously. Okay, so that hole is now also done. So now that that hole is done, let's go on to the next part. Um, this bolt, I'm sure, is nice and toasty still. Actually, it's not too bad, surprisingly enough. Um, so let's go ahead and unthread. Oh, yeah, let's unthread this bolt. See, now what you can see is that the square 
is staying in there now. All right, so let's see if we can't bust the rest of this out. So now what we have is we have the top. Um, since I have the top right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this bolt right through here. Uh, this is a quarter 20, like I said before. Uh, that number seven bit, that's actually for tapping this size thread. So, you know, you could use a little bit of a bigger bit, but I should just be able to uh, just screw this in to the top because it should, should basically be about the same size as the bolt. So let's go ahead and thread that in there. Okay, now you guys can see that my bolt's coming right out. So we didn't need to tap it at all because it's such thin metal that uh, you're not gonna need to tap that one bit. Now, what I like to do is um, I just use that. Now you see it's kind of, it's kind of popping out in the bottom. Um, what I did before is I actually melted this into the top. So we're going to try that again. Um, now you can take, oh crap, card's full. Now you can go ahead and take that and you can tighten that up. So now you can see that this is going to go into your, uh, into your device for um, capturing it or, you know, for screwing it into the tripod. That's going to be the top. So that'll be the top piece right there. What we're going to do is just put this back on here. We are clicking that right back on and what we're gonna do is melt that down now we don't necessarily have to melt that down because you can see that this little piece right here is gonna click right back onto the top but the problem is is that it doesn't look as good so because this part and this part are not necessarily gonna be flush see how we kind of have this bad gaffage so that is where we come in First off, what we're gonna do is we will uh, we'll mess with this. We're just gonna file the plastic down just a little bit. Um, just filing this plastic down. That way the bolt is nice and flush um, into this. So you can see, yeah, that looks nice. That looks good. We take that, go ahead and put it back on. Uh, make sure that you're holes line up with the holes that the screws would go into so just rotate that until you find those holes um, go ahead and then just throw those little screws back in there uh, should be pretty simple take those spin it around okay, this bottom one we may want to open this uh, hole up just a little bit that way you know we get a better mount on the uh, on the tripod so you might want to just open that up that way your screw you know has a little bit more of a spot to find the thread on the tripod itself but overall that looks really good um now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and throw this back on the top now you can see that's where i'm talking about this gappage again now to fix that gappage what i'm going to do you guys can try something different if you want to but i like the flames i like the torch so let's get on with the torch basically uh, I'm gonna heat this up and we're gonna press down and what that's gonna do is melt it into the top plastic area so it's pretty damn hot you guys probably gonna see the heat coming off this thing okay now what we're gonna do is we are just gonna turn this upside down I'm gonna press down when I'm pressing down you may see a little bit of smoke coming out of this thing and that is because we are just melting it right in melting it right into the plastic you can see the smoke coming out okay yep a little bit of smokage all right now what you'll also see though is that that gap has really cleaned up right you don't really notice the gap look the gap is consistent around the whole thing and we didn't really have to do anything to the top either so you know if you don't like the way the screw is uh, working you know you can always play with this a little bit more um, you know putting a washer in there or just tightening this up a little bit possibly even putting two washers on that way you don't have as much thread but yeah that is pretty much it guys so now you can see you got the hole in the bottom you get the hole you get the screw on the top these are all quarter 20 thread like I said before and yeah that's gonna that's gonna make this thing work and we'll roll some more clips show you guys how it was if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my videos go ahead and subscribe and we will talk to you soon guys later and peace out
I just went ahead and bought a new Dremel. So I ended up getting the uh, the Dremel 4200. Um, this is what the packaging looks like right here. So